Mr. Mehta, do you think this film festival is going to be a special festival? Certainly, I mean, when the festival takes place uh, where uh, the filmmakers are working, then many more people who are participating in the, who are actually working in the film, uh, uh, film industry will be able to participate in the festival. So in that sense, it will be a very, very special kind of a festival. Do you expect to, it to be a major hit, uh, the kind of draw which, is, which is, it's going to attract? Uh, when you say a major draw, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, everyone in the Bombay is going to throng to the film festival to see the films. But people who are interested in cinema will certainly go and uh, take uh, uh, this opportunity to see the international cinema. What are the main benefits of an international film festival in a country like India? You see, in India, we hardly manage to see any uh, foreign films except from Hollywood, uh, Hollywood films or some of the Hollywood films. Some of the best films in made in the world during the year can, can be seen only in this film festival. So that is the major advantage that uh, you manage to see the films from all over the world within a short span of time and at one place. Uh, would you agree uh, if one says that good Indian cinema or <coughs> the new wave owes a lot to the film festivals that have been held so far in the country? Uh, the new, uh, um, the so-called new wave or uh, art, the art cinema or something has certainly much to owe to the international cinema, but that is true about all cinema. I mean, cinema is truly an international medium where the give and take or exchange of ideas or in cross uh, international influences have been uh, the heritage of cinema, if you, or the tradition of cinema. Even in early, day, early days, we had Shantaram, who was influenced by the German cinema, or we had then Russian influences working in the mainstream cinema as well. So this kind of, it, the cinema is an international language. It does not recognize national boundaries. It does not rec recognize cultural boundaries. And that's so wonderful about cinema, that this kind of cross-fertilization has happened and has enriched cinema in each, other, uh, each of these cultures. Uh, should Indian Film Festival be a competitive festival? Uh, I would certainly like it to be a competitive festival. It certainly uh, adds a certain edge to the festival. But on the other hand, the argument is that since some of the best films don't uh, compete in Indian cinema, uh, Indian Film Festival, it is not worth the while. But unless you make the festival one of the leading festivals in the world, uh, that cannot happen. And that's what I hope would happen from now onwards. That the Indian Film Festival should become one of the leading festivals in the world. Uh, what stops it from becoming the... Uh, lack of vision, lack of desire to grow beyond the confines uh, governed by the government. Uh, in this festival, what are you looking forward to? A lot of exciting films, a lot of exciting filmmakers with whom one can interact. and. Uh, a general festive spirit that is part of the film festival. Uh, you go keeping yourself free for the festival? Will you be seeing all the films? As much as you can, because uh, I suppose there would be about 90 to 100 films being shown, maybe more. Uh, so one will see some a lot of exciting cinema. Any category which is going to be of special interest to you? Uh, a lot of the retrospectives are very, very exciting. But I'm sure there will be quite a few exciting films in this history. And uh, what about the relevance of the panorama section? Uh, what do you feel is the relevance? To present the best of country's cinema is a major relevance. I mean that since a lot of people from international film festivals and uh, international filmmakers come to India, they would like to see some of the best of Indian cinema uh, at one go. And therefore the Indian panorama is a very significant part of uh, the Indian Film Festival. And um, this uh, also happens to be uh, the celebration of the 100 years of cinema. Now, how are you going to participate in that? Well, there is a major uh, show that is going to take, live show that is going to take place celebrating the 100 years of cinema. And it is going to be a very high tech, uh, spectacular show. So I'm 
basically looking out for the technical aspects of this show so that it goes smoothly. Last. Uh, this is something not exactly related to the festival. We're talking about NFDC, I wanted to ask you one question. There is a perception that NFDC is uh, becoming grossly commercial. And um, a lot of people are saying that it might not be doing the role it is doing. Now, what do you have to say about that? Well, I think to expect any organization to remain static over a period of time is uh, not possible. On the other hand, it was continuously being, uh, being accused of uh, not being viable. When it turns viable, it uh, is being continuously accused of being commercial. So it is a catch-22 situation in which the NFDC finds itself and it has to grow. It has to, to uh, somewhere strike the balance between a viable organization and also being a, a promoting organization. And it's a tough balance to strike and I'm sure they are doing their best to do it. Thank you.